why to tape fingers, how to protect your fingers? In this video I'm going to tell you reasons to tape fingers and I'm going to show you basic techniques how to tape fingers yourself. At the end of this video I reveal three advice which will help you significantly with taping. Hi, I'm Jerry Popelka, Volley Country founder. You can find volleyball advice, tips and exercises on our YouTube channel. We use our fingers very often in volleyball. We do a lot of exercises with them. We want to set with overhand hit perfectly. We want to be able to receive with overhand hit. And we also expose our fingers in block when we try to have them firm to block or slower the ball. By taping we protect our fingers, especially the first and second joint. You can see a taped finger most often at the middle blockers. On the other hand, setters almost don't use taping as they need their fingers to be more sensitive. Taping of the fingers is important because of these reasons. Thanks to taping we make fingers firmer. Our fingers are often hit while blocking. Then we have our fingers swollen and by taping we protect our fingers. We stabilize a joint of finger with tape. Taping allows us to play even if we have chronic troubles with fingers and without a tape we couldn't play. Sometimes we are more confident thanks to taped fingers and we fear less to block. In winter when it's colder in hall and also thanks to dust, our fingertips on our phalanx cracks. We can tape fingers in many ways. Also, there are several possibilities how to protect fingers by taping. I'm going to show you several ways which I used in my professional volleyball career. For taping, 2.5 cm wide tapes are mostly used, but we can use also 5 cm wide tapes. Top volleyball players use them for taping, you can see them even at regional competition players too. We start by easy finger taping methods. We take the tape and uh, we put it around the first and the second phalanx. It's important that the tape ends every time on the back side of the finger so that it doesn't uh, bother us when we play and it doesn't unstick. It's an easy finger taping technique which uh, provides good mobility of the second joint of the finger while making the finger significantly firmer. Now let's take a look how middle blockers usually tape their fingers. First, we tear off a shorter piece of a tape which will protect the finger belly and the nail. It's important mainly to prevent our nail from being damaged when it gets hit in block. Then we take the tape and start to create a solid wrapping around the whole finger. Middle blockers use this kind of taping mainly because it's the firmest finger taping. And as they get the biggest hits from spikers to fingers, they use this kind of finger fixing. It's firm, but on the other hand, you lose sensitivity in the finger. It's similar like having a finger in a plaster. We have prepared six pieces of tape and we are going to show you a joint protection, so-called cross junction. First, we need to make a support or an anchor for the tape that we will apply later. Again, we cover both finger bellies by the tape. Then we take the third piece of tape and we start to form a cross in the middle of the finger so it covers the second joint of the finger and at the same time it's end on a tapes which serves as an anchor. Mm -hmm. 
we do it this way on both sides. Once we have a cross ready, we need to fasten it. Again, we use pieces of tape which we have prepared and we put them in the original spot where we created the anchor. We pay attention that the tape ends on the back side of the finger. The purpose of this taping is to protect the second joint of the finger so that it doesn't bow backwards. You can see that the forward mobility is not limited, but the cross should keep the finger from bowing backwards. Now we will take a look at a similar finger taping like the previous one, but we won't create a cross. Keep the second joint from bowing backwards, but we will keep the second joint from bowing left or right. Again, we prepare so-called anchor. We rip two pieces of tape in the length that they don't go beyond the anchor. Then we stick them slowly to the finger on the left and right side. Once we have done this, we cover these tapes in spots where the anchor is to fix the position and protect the fingers. The goal of this taping is that the finger doesn't move left or right while keeping the possibility of moving the finger forwards and backwards. Now we are going to take a look how to tape two fingers to each other. It serves us when we have one finger swollen or injured. We tape it to another finger and we create a junction which protects not only the disabled finger but both of them. It's often used with the small finger which can be hurt in block and this way we connect it with the ring finger and nothing can happen to small finger. On the other hand, it brings some limitations when we use our head hit. This taping is similar like the previous one. We will tape two fingers together, but this time it's not going to be a firm junction, but uh, we will have a narrow bridge between the fingers. We create an anchor on both fingers so that the following tapes uh, stick to the fingers. Once the anchor is ready, we get to a next phase when we cover the fingers but we leave a centimeter or centimeter and half wide gap. We rip a tape to make it approximately 1 cm wide and we put it between the junction which we created by the previous tape.
Once we have placed this uh, final piece of tape, the junction is done. You can see that uh, fingers are about one centimeter away from each other and firmly fixed. A limited mobility of fingers has been preserved. The small finger is still well protected while blocking. I've been taping fingers for years and there is my practical advice for you. If you want to tape fingers, don't tape wet or greasy fingers. The tape won't have perfect adhesion and won't stick to the finger. Always remove the tape after training or practice before having a shower. Otherwise it's possible that the glue will remain on your finger and you'll have to rub it out or use a tape remover. We usually carry tapes in the bag all the time. Don't let tapes get wet. Keep them in the separate pocket or bag. Tapes also shouldn't freeze as their behavior might get worse. That's my advice and tips how to tape fingers. I hope they will help you in your volleyball practices or games. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.